All right, we're here for round five of the PTQ. Um, this hand, I have a discard spell, double angler is already like a mulligan, so I'm actually going to shift this. Yeah, this hand's not much better, but it's better. I'm going to put that on top. It's an interactive spell. Gemstone line. So we're playing against Dredge or, okay, we're playing against Amulet Titan. So let's get black, red, and I'm just going to push this. I'm not going to cycle my Street Wraiths because I might draw a Serum Vision next turn. You know, I, I guarantee you just want to get that off the board. Take it easy, Archmage. Play main has been canceled. All right, so they got an amulet. They hit play the tribe scout. All right, so I need a discard spell. A Gurmag Angler is not bad. There's a discard spell. Okay. Double discard spell. So I can go, yeah, I can discard spell and get nasty. All right, so now we just need to play around like tighten off the top, and we should be in good shape here. It's been an awesome stream. I really appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out. I think there's some good content, especially the first match. So they don't have there's no sense casting the thoughts because we know their hand. I probably should play the island because it's my worst land, and I'm not really in the in the market for. For taking much more damage, I don't think without a Death Shadow. I say that, and then I draw Street Wraith. So I'm going to cast Street Wraith. They needed Ballista for six to kill me. That's a great draw. So just push that. I mean, it's not a super great draw, but it at least lets me get like they it removes their option of blocking, which is what I'm all about. They probably bounce their Gemstone line. This one with one counter. They might bounce the Radiant Fountain if they think that's going to matter. No. Okay. I think that's the right play by them. So they have Gemstone Mine in their hand. They have Gemstone Mine plus what I'm looking at here. And there's still two turns off Titan. And if they cycle this, they have to do it in a way that I will be able to Thought Seize the Pact away. Unless they Pact for like, I don't know, something, something dumb. Like Azusa. Azusa. It's going to have six. What do we hit? Four mana. Transmuting Tolerity list. Okay. So this is going to get Summoner's Pact. Screw a Tribe Scout. So Tolerity list is gone. So I can at least deal with that Summoner's Pact. So we're going to go like this first. Because if they just cast it then we can just Thought Seize the Titan. Yeah, and they still have to pay four mana, which basically wastes their whole turn. Okay, so there's the Titan. I did that on purpose. Because I wanted them to, to time walk them. If my opponent wants to race me here, then like that's okay. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this race here. So, yep. So the last card is, ooh, this game's first gains double strike, so it doesn't actually kill me. And it comes into play tapped, right? No, it doesn't come into play tapped. Opponent is racing. So target creature gains double strike. So I am going to have to find another creature to add to the board because this will kill me. But we're not dead yet. We're not going to lose. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh my god! Is that what they drew off? That is, that's what they drew off the top? No way! 
Oh man. That gets me, right? I take back what I said. That still does enough, right? Because it gets plus two plus zero, oh. so it's a three. It's a three. It's a three one. We lost to the snake. That's what they drew off the top. The card that killed me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. So we're bringing stubborn denial in the strokes. Liliana the veil, the one of death. Battle Rage, because it's good to Battle Rage over the top. Um, I'm not really interested. I don't like that many pushes in the deck, because while they were good that turn, they only really line up very well against the Snake, and I kind of want all my other cards. I can cut some Gurmag Anglers also, because they're going to play Bajokabog. Oh. Hey, sweetie. Hi. I'm in, I'm in round five now. What? I'm in round five now, so... I'm going to keep going. I can probably figure something out. Okay. Thank you. Uh, he went out at like 1. 1.30. Okay. Wife's home. Okay. Um, Cut some Snapcasters. Not really a Snapcaster mage matchup. I like Command because it hits Angler and um, Engineered Explosives. What well, terminate because it can hit the first titan, and sometimes you can get by the first titan. Bolt hits their creatures, and this also hits Obstin and Baylos. We're going to try this. The best way to beat this deck is a quick Death Shadow. What's up? Oh, I was looking for my, whatever they are, my uh, keys. Ooh, so aggressive. All right, I would like to play first. This hand's pretty good. It doesn't have a quick shadow, but it's got a lot of disruption. And if we can just get like a thought scour, we can get this angler going. I don't like necessarily like if I had a fatal push, I wouldn't thought seize here because I can stub. Um. Well, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Wrong thought. Okay. So I'm going to be able to stub this. Maybe. I want to take a Zuz, I think. Take a Zuz. Then I can stub explore. Maybe I'll take Summer's Pact. Yeah, let's just take this Azusa. Larry West. Um, I might get Blood Crypt. I think I'm going to take Pact of Summer's Pact with this one. If they want to go gemstone mine into Pet Explorer, then we'll stub it. If they want to like slow a whole turn down, they can do that as well. And so they're gonna go for that. What's that? What happened? Did I miss something? What's that? All right, stub that. And now I can play Angler. Now I can play Angler and have Disdainful Stroke, which it doesn't matter right now, but. Nope, that's not what I'm going to do here. Go this. This is a pretty slow, slow set from our opponent. Pact negation could get 
rough for the home team, though. Like, I can definitely see a way that... Though they're so far off of transmuting this Teleria West. Plus they have an untapped green source now. So there's Gemstone Line. So there's the untapped green source. Oh, what is this? We mistapped on our... Okay. Summoner's Pact. Wow, that was sick. All right, let's thought seize the Summoner's Pact. Okay, so they have Primeval Titan. So they can't prime time next turn. They can prime time the turn after, though. So I guess I'll make them cast Summer's Pact because they can't go Summer's Pact and Pact of Negation. Because they'll die. I'm going to bolt my opponent because I might draw... Well, now I'm not going to. Okay, so there's the Ballista. So they're going to pick up probably the Gemstone Mine. Yep. Tribe Scout. So I'm just going to bolt this Tribe Scout. Make sure they put three, what are they, there? six mana, they put a counter on this, yeah, we're good. I don't think I terminate this, right? Whoa, that was a sick draw. Why not use man? Yes, I should have. Yep, excuse me. I, I was worried about Primeval Titan coming down, but I, I wasn't thinking about that as much. So so now if I just Inquisition the Summoner's Pact, I think we're good, right? Because I know my opponent's hand. Right, they don't have an out here. Unless they rip Primeval Titan off the top. If they rip Primeval Titan off the top. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it. They need to get double blue. I just have to attack. The problem is, do I kill this thing? And make them rip prime time? Yeah, I think we're just going to play it slow. Like, we're in how do we lose territory, I think. Okay, that makes me feel better. Okay, so they drew the growth chamber. So this probably picks up gemstone mine. I don't think there's any need to cycle this Street Wraith. Like, I could hit Team or Battle Rage, but that's, like, it. If they cast Summoner's Pact, then I'll cycle for, for a whatever it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't think I want to change anything, even on the draw. Maybe I want more. I want more removal in the draw. Excuse me. I'm gonna cut a Snapcaster Mage. Bring in another Fatal Push. Really honest, probably slow on the draw. Just bring in more Fatal Push. Have more answers to Tribe Scout on one. I don't want to get whacked by the Scout. So we can get to the three and two. I think. I'm not sure what you have to do to make prizes, but. Oh, uh, this hand's really good, but it doesn't have any disruption. It doesn't have any clock. I think I'm going to keep this because I have answers to everything in a Serum Visions. Like, I can kill... I can kill... I don't have answers. If my opponent goes land amulet, I'm in trouble. Well, let's hope they don't do that. So it's pretty good against everything but land amulet. Ancient Stirring's okay. They hit Grove. 
Grove's annoying, but it doesn't really do that much. So definitely just gonna thought these first. Okay, so they're just on lands. This game could get weird, but at least we have time. Yeah. It says Grove. I don't really want to cast Thoughtseize. So I think we're going to go get our another Watery Grave. On the bottom, I think Seer Vision is better than a random draw. I could just cast it. Like, what's the worst that could like? It's all just a random guess, anyways, and I might not have the mana for it. And I'm not stubbing anything next turn, really. I'm just gonna cast it. I can't think of a reason why not to. Like, they're gonna stub. Yeah, they're they're gonna stub whatever I like. They're gonna, whatever they can play is probably not stubble. That, that's tough. They're, they're cutting off a, a quite a bit of our outs here. There's Cavern. So we have whatever this is covered right now, as long as if they play it, which they're going to. Okay, so we know their hand. So this is going to get me Steam Vents. Okay, we want both of these. So we're going to put this on top, put this under it, just to add to the um, to the delve. And then we're going to get Nasty into play next turn. We, I think we can get Nasty and have Stub and Stroke up. So we should be in pretty good shape now. Tulare West, they drew that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. They can't tighten me, so I might as well just get tapped Blood Crypt and just leave up Disdainful Stroke. Or just leave up Stubborn Denial. Now my life total is not quite as in danger. They can't they can't cast Titan next turn. We should be good here, I think. I'm kind of worried about a um, a walking ballista would be pretty annoying. That's kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. That's pretty good. And we can outpace this grove here. Now I wish we had shocked ourselves, but I think I think that's a hindsight thing. Scout. Nope, we gotta let that go. So the advanced growth chamber ghost quarter. This is our game. I just have to not like lose it. Because they're probably gonna bounce this end of turn and then transmute it on their turn. Whoa, that's huge. So that pro that might do it depending on how my opponent blocks. The gain life, this becomes six, six plus twelve. It's not I think it's I think I'm just gonna battle rage now because it's getting worse because of this grove. So this is twelve, eleven. It puts them to one. I still have stub and stroke up. And it makes it so that they have to they have to block both creatures. And now we basically make it so they have to transmute for engineer explosives. And 
And then we just stub the explosives. Their last card's Growth Chamber, so we should be good. After this round, I'm going to take a quick break and just chit-chat with my wife for a second before we do anything else. Just I'll put, like, the Philly camera up there. Yep, this is good. They bounce Teleria West, and then they're going to go... They're pretty shoot in to going to get engineered explosives. Excuse me. Okay, Azusa also kind of does it. That buys them time. And they should leave it in their hand. They didn't a double blue, excuse me. Yep, you're right. Missilehead. Nope. I, I would just assume, like, I thought they had a gemstone cavern. You're right. You're right. That that was their out. That Like, that was the proper play for them. But now they're just, like, I think they're dead because they're just in the abyss. Like, they're going to have to block both of these creatures for the rest of the game. If we draw a removal spell, we're in good shape. We don't have a lot in our deck, though. Well, better lucky than good. And then attack. And we move to three and two. Won the first two, then lost the second two. Now we're at least head above water here. So let me stop my recording here. I will be back.